Hello everyone. Welcome to Texture Myth. From this session, we are going to start another topic which is related to medical terminology. And this is one of the most important topic uh, for our series because if you are not aware of the basic medical terminology then it would be a bit difficult for us to understand the further process whether we will discuss the coding or any other medical related processes so it is always recommend to first learn about these terminologies and then once you are uh, okay with this once you have some idea about the terminology then it would it would be quite easy for you to understand the further things okay so like so far what we have learned we have learned about the basic things like medical coding what is medical coding and all the information regarding it right then we discuss about the rcm process we covered definition essential component risk advantage and all these things and from this session we are going to another start the another series which would be completely on the medical terminology okay so let's start the topic we'll start with the basic definition what is medical terminology so medical terminology is a specialized language used in the field of medicine and healthcare to describe anatomical structure medical conditions and treatment and procedures okay so whenever someone ask you what is medical terminology so you can simply reply it is a just it is a specialized or you can say standardized language which healthcare professional use in order to uh, describe the anatomical structure medical conditions treatment and procedures okay so somewhere you can say this is a language used by the uh, medical professional in order to discuss about the an anatomical structure medical condition treatment and procedures so this is the perfect definition for medical terminology okay now same thing you can see on second point it is designed to provide a standardized and precise means of communication among healthcare professionals so as i told you that this thing we can use this thing is uh, being used by the medical professional in order to communicate regarding any particular disease or body part okay so just assume a scenario everyone is working for a healthcare sector right and if they are not uh, using the common terms then how then it would be very difficult for them to communicate right because there there is nothing common in between them so we need something common on the basis of which we can proceed the communication we can discuss the things right so these to uh, tackle these things what uh, medical sector uh, achieved like they derived the medical terminology which is common across the world okay everyone is uh, following the same terminology so that they can uh, talk on a particular common topic and they know what what is the meaning of those terminology so that's why medical terminology is very important for the healthcare sector here it is mentioned medical terminology is typically composed of root prefixes suffixes and com uh, combining form often derived from latin and greek origin okay so this term the medical terminology is composed of uh, four part you can say in some case you might see the three parts but there is one more additional thing which is combining form so four part is root prefixes suffixes and combining form and these things are derived from the latin and greek origin okay so by composing all these things the term what we got as a result is known as medical term or medical terminology now you can see medical terminology is typically derived from latin and greek root prefix and suffixes now now uh, why we need this why we need to understand this thing so you can see understanding these components can can help to break down the in, break down and interpret the meaning of the medical term now if any normal person is looking at the medical term he will see normal single word right but if a medical healthcare professional is looking at that word he can easily identify that that word is composed of four things root prefix suffix and combining form and everything is representing the some information root is denoting some information prefix is denoting some information and likewise suffix and combining form is also denoting some kind of information so that's why it would be very easy easy for the healthcare professional to identify what the term uh, we are using and why we are using that term 
okay so this is all about the medical terminology like what is medical terminology it is a just a specialized language used by the healthcare professional in order to describe anatomical structure medical condition treatment and procedures and it is composed of mainly four parts here you can see key component of medical terminologies are root prefixes suffixes combining form so these are the essential component for any uh, medical terminology in some cases or in some exception you you might see that only three part are used root prefix and suffixes but generally uh, the medical term is composed of these four part root prefix suffix and combining form now to explain it in more detail i will show you examples a uh, few examples and then later because these are the large topic right each topic is is uh, of like it each topic will take some time so we will discuss these things in detail in the upcoming sessions but for time being i will just introduce you with uh, these uh, things or these terms so that you can have some idea about these things okay so let's go to the next slide here the first thing is root now what is the definition of root root is the core word core of the word often indicating the body part or system involved okay so whenever you are looking at medical terminology and if you find the root part that i will know uh, i will tell you how to break down the things into part but if you are finding the information uh, which is root then it will you will uh, consider it as a core word of your uh, entire terminology it is a core part and it is always it will always indicate the body part or system involved there are few example i have noted down first is cardio which is related to heart hepto which is related to the liver okay so these are the two term cardio and hepto similarly if you look at the prefix it is also informing some uh, it is also providing some information so you can see added to the beginning of the word to modify its meaning so prefix is always allocated at the beginning of the word such as you can see the example hyper and hypo hyper is indicating excessive whenever something is more than uh, the normal then it it would be considered inside uh, hyper and whenever something is lower than the uh, normal then it is considered as a hypo some people might get confused between hyper and hypo because both are uh, indicating some high hype hype word right and usually we denote hype for high higher thing but in medical it is a bit different hyper is for excessive and hypo is for below normal okay so when whenever you uh, find these terminology in any medical term then you will uh, easily uh, crack it down that yes hyper means excessive and hypo means below normal then we have suffixes definition added to the end of a word to modify its meaning so prefix is you will find the prefix at the beginning of the word and you will find the suffix at the end of the word example itis which is inflammation ectomy removal oology which is for study of okay so these are the things if you are not aware of these terms at the moments then it is uh, okay because we are going to discuss about each and every topic separately there we will discuss each and everything in detail what is ectomy and what is oology so because these are the uh, large topics we need to spend some time on it in order to understand because medical terminology is very important thing Be without medical understanding the medical terminology we are not supposed to move further for the uh, medical coding portion or any other preparation for the exams or okay so that's why we will discuss it in detail we will understand each and every term we will cover almost every terminology that is used uh, during the medical coding or you can say in healthcare sector so this is all about the suffix now we have combining form you can say it is additional thing sometime we might skip this but it is uh, used as per the need so here it is mentioned a combination of the root and a vowel used to ease pronunciation when a suffix begin with a constant so this is always used for uh, to make it ease for the pronunciation like cardio so o is that additional thing or combining form cardiology where cardio cardi is representing the heart o is representing the combining form and oology is representing the uh, study of so study of heart is 
cardiology so this is how a term uh, produced when we are combining prefix root and suffixes along with combining form okay so yeah these are the some basic thing regarding the medical terminology and we will discuss all and each and every part of this like root prefix suffix combining form in detail and we will prepare some set of uh, document as well that will help you to understand the uh, things so i always recommend you to keep a note of these things and if you have any question or any doubt regarding any of the term you can simply write in the chat box comment section so that we can discuss on it okay and as usual we i will ask you one more question for today uh, that you can try to answer in the comment section because you are referring these sessions in sequence so i assume that it is it would be easy for you to an answer on it so you, the question for today is how to know if your revenue cycle management or rcm is performing well so you you are supposed to write a small answer don't waste your time just write a small answer uh, so that if anyone is not aware of these uh, this topic so he can simply refer to your uh, comment in the section and he can have some idea okay i will pin those comment which is cor uh, correct so everyone can take a reference of from it and if you are facing issue while answering this question then i would recommend you to go and check out the previous session because we are uh, covering all these topic in a proper sequence so if you are missing the sequence then it might be a bit difficult for you to understand the things so i recommend you to go and check out the previous sessions and then move for uh, in a flow okay so yeah that's all for today i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sharma